X came out in 2022, directed by Ty West. This movie follows a group of young filmmakers who set out to a cabin in the middle of nowhere in rural Texas, where they are going to revolutionize the way adult films are made. They're making a brand new genre of, uh, of adult film, adult cinema, as one of the characters calls it. But of course, this turns into a horror movie when the elderly couple who owns the cabin get a little bit too involved in the filmmaking. So this movie belongs to that new age horror genre, uh, what a lot of people like to call elevated horror. I don't like that term very much because I find it kind of creates this expectation for this very elevated experience when you go into one of these movies. And I think the reason I didn't like Hereditary as much as I could have is because I went in expecting an elevated horror experience. Um, so, that's not the way I'm gonna talk about these movies. Um, this is just like new age horror or disturbing horror. Um, but that is definitely where this movie falls into, is into that genre. But it's also an homage to the slasher movies of the 70s. Uh, obviously from the synopsis, you can probably tell it rings uh, very similar to the original Texas Chainsaw movies. Um, and there are elements of Friday the 13th and a lot of the stuff that was huge in horror throughout the 70s and 80s. And this is done very well. A24 definitely strikes again with this movie. It's visually stunning. It was shot on 35 millimeter film, which really gives it that feel of uh, one of those late 70s slasher movies. But it also, it still has the thematic elements of horror from the last decade of movies. And so it balances it all very well. And it does still include the tropes of a slasher movie, but it doesn't overdo them. Like, if you go into this expecting a slasher movie, like you want a slasher movie, this is going to deliver for you. But it also delivers on some more chilling, like disturbing thrills uh, that you would see in the kind of elevated horror genre. But another thing this movie does well that a lot of what A24 has been doing recently has done is it says a lot about a lot of different things. It has a lot to say about sex versus love. It has a lot to say about what the, that relationship has to aging and what how affection kind of um, evolves as a relationship grows into like an elderly kind of state, I guess. Um, but it also has something to say about the lucrative power of adult filmmaking, uh, but also about the kind of corruptive power of indie filmmaking in general. And I thought that part of the movie was very powerful as well. Getting a kind of a glimpse into the kind of troubling relationship that can develop between an artist who's trying to make this film and the producer who has other motives. But I think the strongest part of this movie for me is undeniably the editing, which was helmed by uh, David Karsharoff. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, but also uh, Ty West, the director and the writer behind this movie, had a hand in the editing. And I think that could have potentially been part of why it worked out so well here. This movie is paced very well, um, which is very important in horror because horror is built like comedy on timing. And so if your timing is wrong, the the horror, the dread that builds up, um, and especially in a movie like this where it is very built on suspense, isn't going to work out as well. Uh, but fortunately, it does work very well here. But there were also some very abrupt editing sequences that I really thought worked very well. Uh, there was a lot of cross-cutting between sequences to an extent of drawing parallels that you really didn't want to draw in your mind but the editing got you there. Um, there is one of the, I think my favorite implementation of a split screen setup ever in any movie in this film for a short sequence. Uh, it's, it's used incredibly well. The two sides of the screen kind of meld together and switch off, which is something I have not seen done before. But like I said earlier, the sequences are drawn out when they need to be, and they're cut close when they need to be too. But some of the kills in this movie are just like, and it's over and it's shocking and it just hits you um not it's almost like a jump scare but it's also it's it's not the drawn out kill sequence of the slasher movies of the 90s like with jason x or something 
in that same vein where it's every kill sequence is so drawn out it's more off of shock value that doesn't wear off because it's done and then you're moving on to the next thing and the scenes that do get drawn out are the scenes that are situationally uncomfortable and so those being drawn out just makes it very disturbing makes it very spine chilling to sit and watch for minutes uh without a cut the performances of course also very much lend to that disturbing element but it is the editing that ties that all together it does though uh like a lot of the movies of the past 10 years in the horror genre kind of take a little while to get going there is a lot of setup uh but there's also a lot of payoff and you really get to know these characters um, you really get to know what they're all about, what their motivations are, what their pasts are like. And so I don't think the movie really suffers for its longer first act. But that said, it is something I notice, And I think it's something that will maybe um, get certain audience members unmotivated to watch it, especially if you wait and watch this on streaming. So I definitely encourage seeing this in theaters. I'm really glad A24 decided to give this a theatrical release. Um, so definitely go take advantage of that if you can. Uh, but overall, I'm going to give X a 9 out of 10. I had a great time with this movie. Uh, it could have been just that I had a great theatrical experience with this movie, which I haven't had for a horror movie before. Uh, I really got wrapped up into this story. It really had me, uh, in its clutches. And I just had a great time. Uh, maybe my favorite theater experience since the pandemic. Uh, so I definitely encourage you to go see this in theaters, especially if you are a fan of that new age horror, like if you are a fan of Hereditary or The Lighthouse, um, a lot of the stuff A24 has done, but the stuff that Ty West has done in the past, uh, it's also kind of reminiscent of Mike Flanagan's style. Uh, there's one part especially that reminded me of Gerald's Game. Um, very disturbing movie, uh, lots of uh, horrific imagery around old people. Um, so definitely go check that out. But that is all for me. Um, this has been Maxify Film Review on the Beach, and I'll see you on the next one.